The first time I faced the flooding problem in my community was actually on a daily commute. It had rained a lot, and my mom and I went to a crossing, and it was flooded, and we had to turn around. Personally, I'd been impacted by the flooding many times, and especially since there was actually other members of my community, there was a man whose truck was swept away and drowned in our community, and that was a tragic event that really kick-started the process for my project. My name is Laya Yellman Chili, and I'm 15 years old. I'm from Austin, Texas, and my venture is called Hydro Alert. So I did some research, and I researched the existing systems and where the disconnect was and how this had resulted in a person's death. I partnered with one of my friends who was on one of my earlier LEGO League teams, and he's also a fellow Boy Scout. And we worked well together on the team, and I thought it would be a really good partner because we were both interested in learning about technology and we both had similar interests. So we created a mobile app where you can receive the data of how far below the road surface the water level is. And then we have our device that's measuring the water level. And it actually sends people alerts through the app. I think first, persistence is the key. Initially, even getting an audience with the government, I think, was the hardest part. And we had to find ways to reach out to different people and look at different angles um, that we could access someone who had a level of authority to allow us to present. And we wanted to see, is there someone who's kind of invested in like letting kids learn about how the government works in the system? So we were able to connect with the education outreach coordinator. And she was the one who was actually able to get as an audience with some of the local officials and was able to allow us to get that first presentation. I think first, the most direct impact is the potential to save lives. People are able to use it to collect data, to improve public safety, and also helping the lives of community members. I think there was a lot of people who took a risk for me. First, starting from the education outreach coordinator, took a risk um, that my project and my presentation could actually lead somewhere. I think the most important thing is to cultivate the mindset from an early age. The first thing you have to do doesn't need to be starting a nonprofit. It starts from identifying issues in your community or even in the household. That lifestyle of change making and always looking to how can I fix this problem that's occurring? Not ignoring it and thinking of it as a single instance, but actually looking to find a solution to the problem.